because I was balancing um, studies with volleyball. And my mom told me na pwede na ako mag-volleyball if I didn't get any line of seven. Tapos, yung nangyari nun, dahil parang, dahil dun sa condition ng mom ko, dun ako nag-start magkaroon ng honor sa school. Okay. Kasi siguro may reason na for me to study or hmm. to do well. Why sports? Why volleyball? How did you get into that? Kasi And why was that such a powerful, motivating force? Oh, because my dad um, got me started by watching basketball games, PBA games in Araneta mm. Coliseo. Mm. We would watch um, Red Bull games because we were distributors before, so we got free tickets. And my dad was so passionate. Alam mo yung mga PBA fans in the stands, yung maingay. Mm. <laughs> Tapos, tatayo, pagka ano, tas mag, parang, hi, hi! Ganun, tas mm. gumag, dad ko yun. <laughs> Tapos, ako, naalala ko, may one-fourth pad ako, ginagaya ko yung mga assistant coach na sinusulat nila ako saan nakakashoot o saan nagmimintis yung mm. mga players nila. So, nakita ko, sabi ko, ginaya ko sa so, one-fourth. Sige, daddy, what you know? So, parang yung, yung passion ko for basketball, grew at a young age and I was um, also doing free throws pag dismissal sa ika, pag late sundo ko. Tapos sa bahay, meron kaming court pang three on three. Kalaban mm. ko yung mga kapatid ko. And they would always exclude me. Kasi babae ako. Tapos mm. nakabistida ako, di ba? Mm. Sa school uniform. Tapos parang, pwede, nalaban ako talaga. <laughs> Siguro parang ako, ako lang yung babae nun. Gusto ko patunayan na kaya ko makipagsabayan kahit na uh, babae ako. Parang it doesn't mean I'm any, you know, any mm. less of a person. Parang mm. ganun eh. Mm. The young, ganun yung environment ko nung time na yun. Tapos, dahil wala kami basketball team sa IGA and volleyball was the only team. I had to, parang sabi ko, I knew at a young age because I, was, I had so much energy that I wanted to be an athlete, like whatever sport. And may pumasok sa classroom nag naglagsulat ng tryouts. Nag-try out ako. Pag try out ko, nakita ko yung volleyball team na Ika, sobrang galing. As in, mga tumatumbling, ang lalakas pumalo. Mm. Tapos para silang sisters. Mm. Grabe yung sisterhood nila. Sabi ko, I want this. <laughs> Parang I want I want to be like them. Kasi I grew up with boys. Mm. I never experienced being with other ates. Mm. So that got me into And volleyball. you were good from the start? No. Wala talaga akong zero knowledge. Yeah, so what happened in the I, I, I tryouts? I was, no, I was very, uh, zero knowledge. Hindi, but nakita mo, oy, may tryouts. So you go and try out. Ang, Pumasa ka. Ang, ang, ano, ang motto ng coach ko sa aming lahat, grade 5, 6, 7, high school, matira matibay. Ibig sabihin, kahit wala kang alam, basta nandiyan ka pumapasok ko sa training, gusto mo matuto, mm. ginagawa mo natin drills, mm. you will be part of this team. So para ako, doon ko nalaban na kaya pala matutunan lahat ng bagay. Hmm. Ko na, kasi nung, nung grade school ako, nagtitry ako mag-honor. Tapos kahit anong gawin ko, hindi ako maabot ng honor. Nasa 89 Saka point sumasabi. kanyan. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko maalala. Basta parang lagi yung bitin. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko, di ba ako ganun katalino? Ba't hmm. kapatid ko kasi yung doktor, nag-honor yun lagi. Ako naman, para makakuha ka ng bonus sa magulang mo, kasi magbibigay sila ng ampaw eh. <laughs> Pag may honor ka. <laughs> eh, ayaw talaga. Tapos parang yung parents ko kasi, favorite nila yung kapatid ko dahil nga, nag-honor siya. Mm-hmm. Tapos ako, gusto ko rin. Tapos hindi ko magawa-gawa. Doon nag-volleyball ako, doon ako bigla nag-honor. <laughs> so, eh, kaya naman pala. And then I, that's when I learned that everything can be learned. Mm. Yun. Yun ang aking story ah. What's something that you you've tried to learn but you've never actually learned? Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Talaga. Athleticism and and dancing don't don't match, you think? Um, it should, you know, match. <laughs> uh, but if you call like you know movements like that dancing, then. Mm. <laughs> Hindi na ba para nahiya lang ako siguro. Uh, we're we're a basketball nation, mm-hmm. de ba? Eh, pero kita mo nga, kita mo nga yung popularity ng, ng volleyball. Hmm. There's, a, there's a moment right now that frankly, medyo ahead ka of your time. <laughs> But medyo may, may moment talaga ang volleyball ngayon, di ba? Not just in terms of popularity, the league, the options for, for players to, to go. But we're still basketball 
crazy, diba? So when when and you also have fanatics for football who will say na mas maganda ang football and so benta mo nga sa akin ng volleyball. What's what's the beauty of volleyball? Volleyball. Feeling ko akala mo lang basketball crazy tayo, pero volleyball crazy nation din tayo. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um the reason no, but why at, I'm, I'm I saying think at your level kasi ikaw you you've been part of at iba iba yon eh pagka uh-oh. you were part of organized of an organized team play diba and you're actually at that point that you can break it down my analysis literally. here why volleyball is so popular now it's because everybody can relate to it when i say everybody pag volleyball female role models yan eh madalas eh lalo na ngayon babae um syempre may lalaki pero yung yung nagbabanner talaga diyan are the female players mm. when the parents see them on tv they ask their kids uy panoorin mo si Ate Alaysa mo si ano Abi Maranyo si uh, Jaja Santiago ang gagaling nila oh si Labella Bilanoy galing lang yan dito sa probinsya natin no oh. andun na sa ano sa UAAP tapos that parang that's when they develop the dream for their kids to be able to study university to be seen on TV through mm. volleyball mm. kasi pag artista hindi naman lahat kaya mag-artista eh pero mm. volleyball ano itsura mo mm. basta lumalaban ka basta kabatuto ka ng sport na yan mm. makakapasok ka tsaka ang dami mm. diba um bukod doon pinapanood kami syempre ng mga lalaki mm. pinapanood ng mga uh, lolo lola mm. Mm. pinapanood kami ng LGBTQ mm. Kids, families, everyone, the community. It's a yeah. community thing. Yeah, but you said, Uh-oh. something you said, na mo, syempre, mga babae nagdadala. Oh. But why is it? Why do we have preference. that, not preference, but or, that impression? Uh, I can certainly speak for, for my generation. Uh, but uh, as a whole, I think, mm-hmm. diba? I think that's mm-hmm. fair to say. Why do we have that impression na ang, that ang volleyball pambabayan but when you look at other countries, you look at other countries na hindi, hindi naman pang babae yung volleyball. Parang, and, and when you watch men's teams, mm-hmm. even now, mm-hmm. in, in, mm-hmm. even in our country, even the leagues here, kita mo, Ucha, ang, ang lakas nung, ang lakas na hantong. Sa lang, They actually jump higher than some basketball players. Sa totoo lang, mas nakapag-achieve yung ating men's team mm-hmm. kesa sa women's team mm-hmm. internationally. In the SEA Games, we were... We won a silver medal. 2019, here in the Philippines, our women's hindi nakapasok mm. sa, ano, mm. uh, sa top three, sa podium. Mm. Um, yun siguro yung, ano, medyo parang the reason why basketball is still the number one country and uh, the sport of our country. Even, even before you get to that level, uh, at uh, that competitive level, get rid of growing uh, up, as yeah, you said, yeah. mga kuya mo, Basketball yan. Ikaw, volleyball. I Hindi mean, not to say eh. that, but, but, but why? Hindi ko alam, it was introduced to me that yeah. way. Oo nga. That volleyball is a female sport. Mm. Which is parang unfair for men. Kasi nga, malalakas nga. Ang gagal, galing na men's team natin. They deserve mm. more airtime, exposure, support. Because they do really well internationally. Sabi ko nga. Um, but siguro then the pace of their game is much faster. Because they're stronger. Kaya parang mas sabi nila, mas masarap panoorin yung mga babae sa lalaki. Pero subjective yun. Mm. Diba? Mm. Parang I could watch the men's and be in awe mm. of their strength. At the power. In the meantime, sa, sa females, what? Longer rallies? Mm. And so it, it's, matagal, it's better for, for viewing. But do you think it handicaps the sport? Yung... Yun, the fact that, yun nga, we still, for the, for the most part, it's still... Kumbaga, not so much... It's not so much that um, it's handicapped by the fact that it's popular as a women's sport, because that can only be good, diba? As you said, everybody watches it. But the the ano na it's na the, na hindi lalaki yung binab hindi bumabandera. Mm-hmm. It doesn't it doesn't permeate it, it in the conscious that this is something it, for boys, this is something for men. Do you think we're stunting ourselves? Given that this is a sport where we can actually compete, excel in, and... and so. Itong SEA Games nga natin ngayon, na parang alam ko na leave out nila yung men's team, hindi eh, na nasama. Dahil sa clerical error, di namin alam kung nakalimutan ba o mm. ano. Mm. Last minute, napalitan na isama sila. Pero just to overlook na 
the hmm, men's uh, team was one silver. How can you do that, right? So tell me, how can you do that? What? How does that happen in Philippine sports? I'd, uh, because we always move towards sports that are popular, hmm. where there is much fanfare, not necessarily on who can deliver or perform. Hmm. But hindi ba yun ang realidad sa entertainment sports? Hmm. Asking you now, not just as an athlete, notice walang former don, <laughs> but as an athlete, not, not as an athlete, but as somebody who's covered athletics and sports in the Philippines, I'll ask that again. You've also covered it not just from the perspective of what you know in volleyball, mm-hmm. what you advocate, mm-hmm. but covering all different mm-hmm. sports. You know, we've covered some stories in the big story together. You've covered the politics as well, mm-hmm. diba? I mean, what? Ano? Ano? Nakikita mo na mga issues sa sa development ng sports natin? Well, um, siguro kaya ako na pasok sa sports writing, sports journalism, kasi um, nakita ko yung effect ng exposure on the sport. Like for us, we got a lot of that. I personally got a lot of coverage when I was yeah, playing. Tariyo. Yes. Mm. And sabi ko, naku, ang dami-daming atletang waiting to be discovered, but they don't get, you know, the, the light of day. They don't see the light of day. Um, we see our sports casters. They mostly move towards the headlines. Um, and when I was starting out writing stories sa sports, talagang hinabol ko yung mga, yung mga hindi masyado napapansin. Yung obstacle course racing, mga... Ano ba yan? Mga martial arts. Um, ano pa ba? Uh, every, everything that you don't get to see on TV. Hinabol ko yun. Talagang with my personal advocacy of helping them. Kahit pa paano, kahit wala masyado makanood ng story ako, they can use that as a reel to help show potential sponsors to get support. <laughs> Kasi malaking bagay yun. Alam mo naman dito sa Pilipinas, Kailangan okay. mag-Olympic medalist ka bago ka ma... Hindi, <laughs> makita ka lang sa TV. Makita ka lang sa TV. Mm. Legit ka na. Mm. So, yun yung parang sabi ko, okay, this is some some way I can give back and I can help. And that led me to covering more deeply yung mga issues na yan. Not that I think anybody, you, you need any introduction, but we're speaking with Gretchen Ho, uh, athlete, uh, woman in action, news anchor, kasama ko po sa... The one is uh, the big story um, here on here on One News. Politics. Um, it, it is ano eh, parang I think disappointing, disappointing to see how you know, medyo patronage politics din sa sports. Hmm. Ibig sabihin yung mga head nung syempre yung medyo old school na kailangan minsan kailangan medyo inaamo-amo mo sila yun yung nakikita ko ah hmm. yun yung problema ng mga atleta inaamo-amo nila para kumpara masama sila sa line up makakuha sila ng allowance pero pagka medyo sumalungat ka eh mambilis lang din you're deprived bawiin hmm. oh medyo ganoon may power na ganoon hmm. um but Thankfully, we have more athletes now who are more outspoken, like EJ Obiana, like Heidel and Diaz. And that's why I think what EJ did in public, though it could have been handled better, I would say. Um, On both sides, you mean, including EJ? Both sides, mm. EJ also. Uh, it only showcases in public how an athlete can stand up for himself. Pero siyempre tayo mga Pinoy, we're also big on utang na loob. Mm-hmm. We're big on respect. We're big on inaamo-amo. Sa kultura natin yun eh, di ba? Yun nga lang, hanggang saan, di ba? Parang paano mo babalansihin yung professionalism and utang na loob. And yun, yun nga, parang sa kanya kasi, uh, hindi naman natin alam yung merits of the case. And I don't wanna get into that here. But, it was clearly very political. So, kita mo ngayon, ang maganda sa kanya, he used that as motivation to perform. But, 
had it gone the other way around and he mm. didn't perform na kumahanap na sa kangkungan mm. nagtatawa na na siya ng mga ano mm. ng mga tao ngayon mm. so yun yung sad reality but i also saw the role of media of people like myself and people of 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 writers journalists and how powerful that is in in you know exposing what happens behind the scenes you've you've always been and at least at the very least for a long time you've been in athletics from a, for as far as you could remember for as long as you could remember you've always been competitive but have you necessarily always been discomfortable in the public eye no. are, are you or <laughs> were diba parang because you're well spoken you're very confident you're very passionate I can understand how you fed into this going from sports to sports journalist Mm-mm. now as a, as a journalist now so now as a news personality you you host events you can speak in in public so I can understand the competitiveness and in you know the strength pero iba yung as I said the confidence to just be on stage to speak in public have you always had that no but I felt like just looking back I've been in this industry since 2013 Ten years na. Hmm. Parang sabi ko, oh my gosh, I spent. Parang I I grew up in the public eye. It feels that way. Parang yung pagkanene ko, makita mo pa sa Google. <laughs> Nakakahiya talaga. Uh, sobrang awkward. So parang sabi ko, kailangan natin i-bury ng more photos yung mga pictures ko dati. Tsaka ang, hindi pa ako, hindi pa ayos yung makeup ko, kulot-kulot pa yung buhok ko. Basta, all the awkwardness. Gin- Ginugugle na ng mga tao ngayon. So, sobra, really bad. Really bad. Google images lang ang katapat niyan. But you know what? When I got into the media industry, I realized that I did not know so many things about life. Because when you're from Ika, When you're from a Chinese family, when you're from Ateneo, meron kang perception eh mm. ng showbiz, mm. di ba? Noong pumunta ako sa showbiz sa ABS-CBN, I was really humbled with everybody that I saw. Um, people who came from nothing and just taking a look at how seriously they take their work. Dancing, acting, lahat extra ganyan. Every day, kailangan mukha kang maayos, maganda ka, maayos ka mag-BS, maayos ka magsalita. Lahat ng talent, ilalabas mo <laughs> sa bag mo para maging relevant ka. Ganun ginagawa ng mga tao doon para magkaroon ng magandang buhay. And I had so much respect for them. Kahit ano man yung gawin nila, kung pagtawanan naman sila sa TV, you know they were in it because they had to do it. Mm-hmm. And seeing that, parang, and, and meeting a lot of people in the industry from various fields opened my mind to a much bigger world. And parang sabi ko, if I were to be a host, if I were to be a news anchor, whatever role, parang I'd give it enough respect to actually learn the craft <laughs> and not just be there because I can be there. Mm. So yun na sinasabi ko na parang, feeling ko atleta pa rin ako sa kung ano man ginagawa ko. Kung hosting yan, I'll make sure I know it, I study it, I prepare for it. Kung anchoring yan, whatever it takes to be, you know, a good anchor, I'll, I'll do it. Hmm. The stories you do now are no longer just sports. I mean, hindi sa ginadjust ko, dinalang ko lang ang sports. But I've, I've seen you go all over the country. Um, you're, you're, you're paying your dues, quote-unquote. Um, I think I'm saying that for you. Uh, but you're doing stories, you're doing social issues, you're you're covering marginalized maybe because, communities. Maybe because um, I have so much respect for for journalists and those who put their lives on the line to get the truth out there. Um, na parang hindi hindi ko ayoko. I don't want to claim to be one, and I just do my job. I write. But I also dabble in other worlds, mm. and I don't want the pressure of labels, mm. parang, and to have to live up to it. Alam mo yung ganon yung parang I'm gonna do my job and the way you know whatever qualifies me to be a news anchor, a real news anchor. But I'm not gonna say to people that you know this is. I'm a journalist. Oh, oh. Mm. Ito trabaho ko pero mm. parang 
Eh ko, eh parang especially in these times that I do so many things. I mm. I host nga I um also do content. I produce also, I write my stuff also, pero parang maybe with what I do, there's power in it because hindi ko kinakahon yung sarili ko. Mm. Ang dami ko na may meet, ang dami ko na reach out, na reach na tao kasi because of what I do. And I I feel like there's power in that. Na parang I'm afraid na pag kinahon ko yung sarili ko doon, maka... Hindi ko, hindi ko ma-explain eh. No, parang, I, I, hindi ko ma-explain eh, pero ganun yung But I actually ko. know what you mean. I mean, uh-huh. ako, I, I don't... I hardly ever actually introduce myself as a journalist. And when I'm asked um, to introduce myself, and when I'm introduced as a journalist, I actually have taken the time to say that actually, I know what you mean, di ba? Parang, I'd rather not look at the at the label, and I'd rather just, I'd rather emphasize the process. So, the question is not so much, are you this or are you that? But more of, are you doing this? Because if you, if you do this, if you if you interview, if you research, Mm-mm. if you vet, Mm-mm. if you get another pair of eyes to look at your work and check you, if you submit your work to a, a, a team Mm-mm. who is also dedicated to accuracy, to fairness, to objectivity, to analysis, then I would call that process more or less fairly journalism. So I would subscribe to the to the process and say. I subscribe to the process, but I know what you mean when you say yon. that. But if you label me yon, as something, yon, yon. Medyo, it sounds it, pretentious. No, I don't want it also to be an ego thing mm. where I try to, you know, be this. Mm. Live up nga to that label. Parang I just do it because I feel like it's what is right. Mm. Dito sa pinasok ng mundo. Ah. And itong pinasok mo na mundo, whatever you call it, but you're in media right now. Ito itong pinasok mo na mundo takes you out of much of where you were in, in college um, and in your early career, it's no longer in in a court or a field. You're in far-flung provinces, you're in communities. There's a pinasok mo na mundo niyan. What have you seen? What have you learned? You say you were humbled. What are the things that have humbled you seeing the Philippines? Um. When I whenever I approach a story, I always approach it na parang ako yung matututo. Ako yung nakikinig, ako yung nakikialam. Pero parang eh ako parang sa akin It's hard to say, no. Parang I feel like, you know, there's so much more for me to to know and to understand and to See, um, that's why I've been pushing uh, to to be able to go out there more and to do, do those stories. Uh, may it be in my show, may it be in the newscast. And no una natatakot ako sa totoo lang sa ano. <laughs> takot ako sa hard news. Takot ako sa crime. Parang pag nakikita ko parang ayaw ko lapitan kasi nga it's ano eh. Hindi ko, hindi ko siguro baka bata pa ako kasi nung 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 dati na inalok ako mag reporter. Pero ngayon, nagugulat ako sa sarili ko na ang tapang ko na na kaya ko na siyang harapin. Um up at the, um, up until this point, I feel like I need to know more. I need to 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 still go out there. And I guess I ano, I always try to talk to people in that way with leveled eyes to listen. I think yun yung ano natin eh. Parang, parang work talaga natin mm. is to listen. How did you feel nung na-red tag ka? Hindi red tag. I mean, to be fair. To be, to be, to be, to be accurate about it, you ah. suddenly wake up one morning ah. Ah. and you're on the matrix Mm-mm. of President Duterte. First of all, how did you how did you find out? I was how did I find out? I was in the news, <laughs> CNN yata. Di ko maalala. Ah, hindi Twitter. Mm. Twitter sa so mm. Twitter. Mm. Kasi uh, doon naman yung breaking news lahat eh. 
Tapos na sa bahay ako noon, um, that was also when photos of um, me attending a Malacanang dinner came out. It was on the same day, probably three hours apart. So, parang nauna yung dinner photos. Hmm. So, yung dinner na yun, Thanksgiving dinner yun, na-invite lang ako doon. Tapos, parang siguro bilang ako, napaka-curious kong tao. Gusto ko makita for myself. And also, I guess, just, you know, um, instinct told me to go. Plus, I also wanted to hear from the people there in Malacanang. Mm-hmm. Plus, di ba, parang when you get invited by the president, parang medyo. So, pumunta ako. Eh, may photos, tumabas. <laughs> Siyempre, dami nagbabash sa akin, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ba't ka nandyan? Mm-hmm. DDS ko pa, ganyan. Tapos, the same day, that matrix came out. Coup plotter naman. Mm-hmm. So, ano ba talaga? Mm-hmm. Supporter? Coup plotter? Mm-hmm. And that narrative was actually helpful for our friends in the media to discredit the matrix. Kasi nga, nakakatawa naman din talaga yun. Eh, ah, pero yun yung tanong ko, was mm. that your first emotion? Natawa ka? Was Hindi. That? Mm. Um, I went into my dad's office in in our house and I said, Dad, nasa matrix ako. Sabi niya, yan kasi, kung ano-ano tinitweet mo eh. <laughs> sabi ko, sabi ko, Daddy, seryoso to. Seryoso to, hindi biro to. Tapos nakita niya na sa news. Tapos niya na-realize na seryoso yun. Mm. And I felt so much panic um, and paranoia about all my phones, about all my correspondence, na parang baka, baka titiktikan ako, baka minamanmanan ako. Talagang kukuha na ako ng burner phone, ganong levels. Kasi nga, parang... This is all within the first day? I think first days. What, first, second, third day. Mm-hmm. And I felt terror, to be honest. Parang... Uh, how can somebody like me just be implicated? Um, maybe because I have been fighting disinformation on my own social media pages. I've been fighting with in, inform, informing my followers na parang ito yung movement ng trolls, ganyan-ganyan. So, so baka nakapikon sila sa akin, kaya nilagay nila ako doon. But you know, ako, yun nga, I was very young and very young still now. <laughs> Pero, um, You ask me what has hum- humbled me is that when I went into the media sphere, I felt like I had to remove or or rather understand that I came from a certain background and try to remove that and listen to other perspectives. I felt like I had to go through that process to check my own biases. Kasi ayoko naman napapasok ako sa discussion na parang ito yung natutunan ko, ito yung naririnig ko, tapos yun na yun. Kailangan ko muna questionin yung sarili ko, natutunan ko, at pakinggan yung iba, para din pagbalik ko sa discussion natin, alam ko na yung convictions ko are mine. So, kung ano man yung ginawa ko in the past, <laughs> exploring, exploring, parang feeling ko, um, the world is too harsh on on those pe- people who try to find themselves in the political spectrum. Mm. Buti na lang, si Inday Espina Varona, hindi ko makalimutan, mm. pinagtanggol niya ako. Sabi niya, si Gretchen, you know, she's still young. She's listening to different points of view, mm. um, finding herself. And parang na-appreciate ko yon as a young person that somebody actually was patient with me in my process. You didn't know Inday personally? Mm, hindi. Mm. Doon ko lang siya nakilala. Nung sinabi ng, ng dad mo, na yan kasi kung ano, nung pinag-tweet mo. <laughs> But what was he referring to? Were you... Uh, uh, were Ayun you... nga, yung ko ngayon yung mga trolls. Mm. Minsan kasi medyo critical ako. Para pag may point, may, may ano, opinion ako, sinasabi ko online. If mm. I feel like I need to voice out on a certain matter. Mm. Um, and every time nagaganon ako, kinukuyog din ako ng trolls. Mm. Tapos, and, and, yun nga, I, since I studied about this information, I would inform my followers na parang ito yung mga napapansin ko. Mm. So, sanay ka makipagbangayan sa Twitter. That takes a certain level of... Dati. Of, uh, diba? Dati. Parang, oh, but, but how different is that from, from 
seeing the president and and having government say na ito enemy of the state. Ay, so, I mean, it's super, yun na nga, yung terror, parang blanket of terror. What does that mean? Na parang anything can happen to me. Um, di mo masabi. Na out of nowhere, pwede kang matag. And actually, I'd like to thank them for giving me the credibility to speak about this. Because after that incident, you know, parang doon ko nalaman na totoo pala talaga na you can have nothing to do with who plotting and be implicated in it just because they want your name there. Hmm. Parang wala lang. And kaya ka nilang babuyin online. Kaya ka nilang yung reputation mo to twist and turn with the, the, the machinery that they have. So it is possible. And it is real. That, that threat. And hmm. every, naalala ko nga na every time mag-tweet ako noon, hihinga ako malalim. Kasi ito na, darating na yung trolls. <laughs> And oh, totoo. Oh. And totoo. Oh, oh. Pero that also, kind of, to be honest, keeps you from voicing out. Kasi ayaw mo na isipin mm-hmm. mo, will I choose peace of mind? Or will I choose to battle the trolls today? Mm-hmm. As opposed to, you know, just being able to freely mm-hmm. speak your mind. Has that actually, in fact, kept you out of, of I mean, notwithstanding yung essentially you standing your ground, you fighting back. But, mm-hmm. but in all the honesty, it's not necessarily fear, but just even at the basic level of hassle, to it made has it me actually kinda, curbed your yeah, your participation bit. in social media? I, I, I try to choose my battles online, um, and natutunan ko rin doon sa pakikipagbangayan at pakikipaglaban na yon. Na ano nga ba talaga yung gusto kong impact? Is it online? Is it opinionating? Or is it in real life where I can make a difference in people's lives? I, I want to get into that because in terms of concretely making an impact on people's lives, um, in the middle of the pandemic, you launched this. I, I don't know if you actually launched it then. So but, pandemic. pandemic uh, in the middle of the pandemic. Itong bike, bike for bike, bike, what do you call it? Bike donate for work? A bike. Or donate a bike. Save a job. Save a job. Mm-hmm. What got you? Why did you start yun? Because I was troubled staying at home, not being able to do anything about the situation outside. And I had work. I, I felt like I was blessed with work <laughs> that time. Na parang sabi ko, I have to do something. Um, gusto ko magbigay ng gusto ko magbigay ng something, pero ayaw ko na pagkain, na uubos. And nakita ko nung gumawa kami ng YouTube content about biking in EDSA. Um, may isang kaming nabigyan ng bisikleta na parang eight hours, eight hours? Four hours siya naglakad from Antipolo papuntang Fairview para pumasok. Four hours din pabalik, so eight hours na yon. Ginawa niya yun nung pandemic, walang transportation. Hindi na niya inulit. Hindi na siya, sabi niya sa akin, hindi ko makalimutan, Ma'am, hindi naman po siya ayaw namin pumasok, hindi lang talaga kaya. Nung binigay ko sa kanya yung bisikleta, talagang mangyak-ngyak talaga siya. Hindi ko makalimutan yun. Binigay mo yung bisikleta, meaning, this is a bike siya. that you own or you buy a bike? No, I you bought give two it to... bikes for that YouTube video. And we looked for people to give the bikes to. So she was one of them. And she? It was a, it was a, a woman. nanay. Hmm. Na parang sabi niya, naiyak talaga siya nung nag-walk siya ng eight hours. Pag-uwi niya, pagod na pagod siya, hindi niya yung mga anak niya. So, security guard siya, tapos nung binigyan namin siya ng bike, yun na nga, parang nagkaroon siya ng lifeline. So, sabi ko, what more, if you multiply this to 30 or to 50, I mean, parang ang laki ng impact na yun. Hmm. Kasi makakapasok na sila sa trabaho. Hmm. So, yun, um, nag-start doon, I was just supposed to donate 50 bikes. Sabi ko lang, kung di ko ma This is out of your pocket? Out of my pocket. Hmm. Sabi ko, kung di ko ma fundraise yung 50 bikes na yon. ako mag-shoulder. Dapat kaya ko i-shoulder yun. So, kinumpit-kumpit. <laughs> Actually, 30 lang talaga yun dapat. <laughs> Tapos may bumulong sa akin na parang yung kay B. Parang kayo mo yung 50. Ano ko ba? Wala ka ba confidence? Tapos nung, sige mo, sige na nga, gagawin ko na ang 50. Kino ako 50, first day pa lang, may nag-pledge ng 100 bikes. Si Piolo Pascual. 
<laughs> Tapos hanggang sa umabot na sa isang libo. So, parang dum- dating nang dating sa akin yung donations and I felt like I just had to step up to the role of facilitating the donors with the beneficiaries and I had 10,000 applications kasi nag-viral yun. Yun. Tapos, parang, ewan ko, siguro... I, I know you have many groups and foundations that have stepped up. In the MVP group, MVP I know, group, PLDT yeah. Smart mm. Foundation. At this point, by this time, how many bikes would you say you've actually given? 1,800. Mm. 200 to go. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's true. You you've literally saved, essentially, di ba? Give a bike, donate a bike, save a job. You've literally saved at least, and I think that has a multiplier effect. I hope more I than have nearly two thousand jobs. An impact assessment. I think it's a good study. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> lumalabas ang MI mo. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, nagagamit mo. Sa, de- de- sa development work, ganun, kailangan uh, malaman mo kung meron talagang lasting impact yung ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, nagagamit mo management engineering mo? Nagagamit ko naman. Doon mm-hmm. ko nagamit yun actually, mm-hmm. yung finances. Tsaka yung, ano, yung meron akong financial report na nirelease sa website for transparency purposes. Mm-hmm. And then, ngayon, sa production ng Woman in Action, mm-hmm. gagamit ko yun. <laughs> okay, yung, yung Woman in Action, where does that come from? Um, so, I mean, does it, it I mean, who thought of it? That's the, show, the first thing. The show? The, just the, the brand, the ah. name. It, because for me, it's just it's it's perfect. It seems perfect for you because whether you wear your media hat mm-hmm. and you're mm-hmm. telling stories or you're doing these advocacies or you're raising funds, it pretty much captures exactly why I put that on my Instagram bio. That mm. was the first place I put Woman in Action because I was trying to encapsulate everything that I was doing. And parang para madali rin sa utak ko kung ano yung parang ha- how to identify myself as. So I put Woman in Action there. Not just because that was me, but I remember my brother, my lawyer brother, when he was studying to be a lawyer, he put that on his room. Parang may board siya. Parang na maging lawyer siya one day. Mm. And sa akin, sabi ko, ang dami kong iniisip. Siguro ano... <laughs> Um, dami kong inisip, dami kong ideas, dami kong plano, pero sabi ko, ang motto ko, gusto ko maging woman in action. Ibig sabihin, pag may sinabi ako, it will come to life. It will be done. Like, because I've always wondered why there's such a huge gap between what we say we wanna do and the time that we actually do it. May it be working out or traveling or just, you know, going out there to buy what you know, we want... Yung, yung gaps are working out. Relate ako. Relate ako. Naiintindihan ko. Matagal ko na rin gusto mag-work out. Naiintindihan ko naman yung gap pagka financially related siya. Hmm. Kasi syempre, pag-iipunan mo pa siya. Pero yung mga bagay na kaya mo nang gawin ngayon, bakit hindi ginagawa ng mga tao? Hmm. So I've always wondered. Sabi ko, bakit kaya hindi ko nila gawin? Pag naisip ko, akit ako ng bundok, akit ako ng bundok. Pangarap ko to gawin, bakit ko siya gawin? And when I put that there, Parang it was a way of disciplining myself to be So what's be the answer? That. I mean, obviously you have an answer Uh-oh. for yourself. But for people in general and people watching, there's, you have a lot of mm-hmm. young people, even old people who respect you. Uh, I'll go as far as to say who admire you for, for that. Diba? Na woman in action ka, may naisip kang gawin. But from everything that you've seen, why is that? And you take away the financial... Uh, factor, as you said, but if all the resources are there, why do you think there is that gap between what people say Takot. they want to do? Takot. May most nakikita ko, parang daming doubts, daming time spent on, should I do this, should I do that? Uh, and ano, parang, So how do you overcome the takot? I just don't think about it anymore, just go do it. Yung pala, yung pala yung moto. Hindi ka natatakot mag-fail. Hindi ka natatakot na mapahiya. Hindi ka natatakot Hindi. na... Hindi. Yan siguro yung ano. Kasi siguro sa pagka-atleta ko na yun, na hmm. ang dami ng, dami ng pagkakamali. Kaya yung pag-atleta ka, kailangan kasi panag- part yun eh ng process eh. Yung magkakamali ka, magkaka-error ka, matatalo ka sa game. Pero kailangan mabilis ka mag-bounce may, back. May bashers ka. Mm. Oo, madami nung bata no, pa. Hindi, but that's part of, kasama part yun, of the... Ano. Kasama na yun lahat. Parang, ang turo lang sa amin, my visual of that is, kung ngari, 
nahulog ka, tapos nagkamali ka, gano'ng katagal bago tatayo. <laughs> mm. And ako, try ko i-shorten yung time na yun. Mm. But, I mean, like, I give myself, like, a night mm. to brood over parang my mistakes mm. and then the next day, I forget it. Mm. And then parang, I move on. Parang Ateneo natalo sa UP, but ah. six months later, <laughs> six months later, champion ulit. Oo. What's a real failure for you that you're proud that I know I bounced back from that failure? Where have you been bad? <laughs> This is the question. <laughs> um, siguro ano, sa volleyball, I would say that parang there were parang I was under so much pressure to perform at a very high level maybe because i was also getting a lot of attention kasi maganda ako na ano so hindi ko alam paano to deal how to deal with that to the point na parang ayoko na ng media coverage parang yun ano ko talaga sila pero um naalala ko na uh pagka pagka kumare hindi ka di hindi hindi ako nasaseta ng bola, yung mga ganyang bagay, o kaya pag kawari meron ka masamang laro. Parang ang bilis to, to surmise na, ay, manu naman yan, ganyan. Yung mga ganong comment, ma, ma, ano yun na, masakit yun na, pag bata ka. Lalo na kung hindi mo, parang yung buong buhay mo nakapaligid dun. And sabi ko nung, ano, nung nag-graduate ako, na masaya naman ako sa career ko. Um, I, feel, I felt like I, I gave everything to my, my ano, yun nga lang, um, I was also, I also felt like I, that wasn't the final Gretchen ho, na parang I wanted to, I wanted to, I don't know, I don't want, I wanted to be better, I mm. wanted to, I just had that, parang this isn't the best version of me, I mm. just, you look, hindi ako nakatingin sa mirror sa sarili ko eh. Hindi ko mahala. Hindi, napapangit. Ganon, wala akong self-esteem talaga. Ikaw nga bumili ng mirror natin <laughs> sa studio. <laughs> hindi ako nang bumili. Alam mo, I hated talaga. Huh? I hated seeing myself in the mirror. Parang pangit, pangit, pangit na pangit ako sa sarili ko. Tapos, kasi nga nakikita ko yung mga mali ko. Hmm. Lahat ng mali ko, naalala ko. Nagre-replay yun sa mind ko. Hmm. Tapos, parang... I and in the, the 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 getting past that and the the internal dialogue Mm-mm. to make it stop or to change that internal dialogue came from inside as well or did it did it come from no, I somebody else? I wanted to be better. Outside? I wanted it to change. Parang I Ganun know, lang I you knew, just make a decision. No, I knew, that, I knew I had to fix something. Para akong nasa ano eh, quicksand. Sabi ko mm. nga parang depression nga yun. Eh. Yeah. Para akong nasa quicksand na parang the more that you ano, parang the more, lalo kang nalulunod. So mm. sabi yung when I learned how to, I guess to, ang hirap explain eh, paano ba yun? Um, to laugh, <laughs> to not take things too seriously, to accept that I'm human, and to, uh, yun nga, parang nakikita ko ng ibang tao, nagkakamali din naman sila, kahit yung magagaling na player like Eliza, nagkakamali rin, pero that was in the way that we dealt with failure. And I think when I embraced a growth mindset na parang I'm I this is not the end of me. Mm. This is not me. I can be better. Mm. And when I went into the media space, I guess it was so liberating in that way that I was starting with a blank slate mm. and there were no expectations mm. because I that was totally uncharted territory for me. No expectations but also no no limits, no boundaries as you said you don't want it boxed in. You see yourself in politics. You see yourself in, in public <laughs> yeah, service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public service, mm. not politics. Yeah, but you know, once you're in public service, that's that's still always going to be the next question. I can do NGO work mm. without the politics. Because you you actively will tell yourself, no, politics is not for me. There's something there that I actually do not like. Or Because right now, I'm able to move in many spaces and help a lot of people even without the politics. Mm. I'm able to bring people together because I don't have the politics. Mm. Where I am 
is a good place because I can, you know, um, have private institutions, public NGOs mm. work with me, mm. all of them coming together for a, a common goal. And I don't have to deal with a lot of bureaucracy mm. to get things done. Diba? Ako kasi sobrang ano ko sa parang pag natin daanan yan, parang pwede ba ko ngayon na, bilisan natin. Kasi mm. kung kaya na natin tumulong ngayon na ngayon na, mm. parang ba't pa natin kailangan mamuliti ka. Diba? Pero syempre, iba yung skill na yun. I hope to be able to replicate you know, what I do um, in a systemic way, hopefully. And I know I'll be able to find that. Mm. Um, and that's what I'm working on, na parang kahit pa paano, um, mas institutionalized yung tulong. Mm. And there are so many avenues, hindi lang gobyerno. Where do you find time to stop? Ay, di ba, binibiro kita para mm. parang parang dito ka na nakatira. And then pagka wala naman dito, you look at social media, oh, she's in, she's in Davao, oh, she's doing this, oh, wala siya dito because she's distributing bicycles. She's literally outside of the country now working. Napapagod ka ba? No. Para nakikita mo yung No, but I, not just me. Di ba? Not just you? Di ba? Hindi na ikaw No, but no. Ibig sabihin ko, people ask me, parang, I told you in 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 that comment on Facebook, di ba? Woman in action, I think, I can't think of too many people na kayang panindigan yung yung brand na yun. But, how, how, where do you actually find time to relax? And how do you, how do you actually just pause and stop and chill? I go to my mom's room and we have a drink <laughs> or two. Um, Sundays are for bike rides. Saturdays, I try to not have anything. Pag makahinga ako, masaya na ako. Um, still trying to find the balance still trying to find you know a, a regular pattern where i can rest but also i'd like to say that i know i'm very blessed to be in this position where i am and that's also probably the reason why i also feel pressured to do well where I am. Kasi parang alam ko na yung pagkakataon, minsan lang yan at hindi lahat na nabibigyan ng pagkakataon. And um, everything everything happens in the right time, I would say. Parang ewan ko, di ko it, yung pagpunta ko dito, di ko naman din inisip na mapupunta ako dito. I mean, anchoring with you or Posting this and that, and being on the news, and hosting that FIBA event, I was I, I, not, out of my mind. Never mm. thought that I would be in those places. But um, I guess that's why I've also tried to be so diligent with what I've been given, because I also know as an athlete that you have you have your peak. And you have your time where you will be a starting six, starting five. But there will be a time when you have to step back and let the younger ones, mm. you know, take it from there. Mm. So, so matanda, I know... matanda ka na nga. <laughs> and, uh, you, 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 as you said, part of the, mm. the privilege or even just the blessing, I wouldn't necessarily call everything privilege because I think you've earned a lot of the doors that opened but part of the blessing was as you said uh, some of these doors that i that you found yourself walking through you did not necessarily plan diba? some of these things you just sort of just suddenly found yourself there diba? and so far part of the blessing is that every place that you have landed at did in fact turn out to be a blessing did in, tar- in fact turn out to be offering you other doors to to fall through have you actually fallen through a door, found yourself in a place na hindi ko naman hindi ito at bukod doon, hindi ko gusto tong place na ito? Uh, siguro yung entertainment. Kaya, ano, dumating ako sa point na crossroads na parang what do I choose? News or entertainment? Because I could be in entertainment. I could be, you know, doing all of that. But I chose to be in the news. Maybe it was good timing that, you know, it happened after my breakup with Robbie. <laughs> um, and I did not like that my 
private life was in the news. I did not like that, you know, um, things were being said here and there. And I do not like how it can be an entertainment piece for people when, you know, your heart is <laughs> literally bleeding in front of everyone. And sabi ko, if I would have to, you know, show everybody what's happening in my private life to remain relevant, I don't want that world. But I, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather be here in the news where my hard work is rewarded and valued as compared to the showbiz industry where you need to every now and then give a bit of yourself and, and it's part of the formula of being a showbiz personality so i think yung door na yon, while it's there and sometimes it still invites me in to host here and there parang alam ko sa sarili ko na um, hindi ko kaya i-compromise yung yung things that i hold dear to me to remain relevant or to remain to, to have that spotlight parang in, i can do without it mm. yun yun siguro parang just having that consciousness na parang ito gusto ko eh okay na ako dito hindi ko naman kailangan to and tricky yun because ang daming pwede mm. <laughs> ang daming kong pwedeng gawin eh but, but finding the right place for me and choosing it is I would say a product of prayer and discernment I really mm. prayed prayed for every decision <laughs> Yeah, so I would say na parang that's why I'm very careful with the doors I enter. Mm. While it's there, it I don't necessarily will enter it. Mm. Because I'm, you know, parang I'm cognizant na no, it can change. Yeah. I, I, I do think that us being on this side, on this department of media, as you said, diba, there's there's media, there's, uh, there's, there's news, there's sports, there's entertainment. That's really one very simple way to look at the entire media um, setup. I do think we're fortunate that you chose to be on this department. <laughs> yeah, and, and I do think you're, you're doing a, a, a great job. But is there anything about it that, that you still wonder about? Is there, I mean, it's rewarded you and it's clear it's to news. you what the rewards are but is there anything is there a downside to that some news hmm. oh madami <laughs> madami rin kasi ano eh parang meron din siyang mga pitfalls i would say like and what eh siguro na we started this conversation about my schedule hmm uh, one of the pitfalls is that I might get so caught up in the news cycle that mm. I forget to live a life. <laughs> I mm. forget to live my personal life. Diba? Parang iniisip ko din naman yun na... But it doesn't, that part doesn't come with news. Eh. That part comes with the fact that you're a hit maker. You're a success. It comes with... Diba? It comes with just being successful. I think if you had chosen entertainment and succeeded there it's the same thing diba? you'll just keep getting offered more and more properties it's not a function of parang pakiramdam ko lang parang kailangan lang maintindihan mo bakit mo siya ginagawa kasi the you know the, the temptations around you mm. it only gets you know stronger the higher you go up mm. right everybody will try to lure you with this and that and you know parang ang dami mo pwedeng ma-amass mm -hmm. with with ano mm -hmm. pero um yung constant awareness that wherever you are you're vulnerable to <laughs> all of these iyon yung mahirap siguro kasi as a news person you have to live a life of integrity inside and outside the camera off or on and off the camera mahirap yon <laughs> mm. mahirap yon pero mm. i'm glad that my volleyball life has prepared me well for mm. this mm. but wag kayong magulat kung bigla na lang ako mawawala 
<laughs> Mag-abroad na lang ako, tapos hindi nyo na ako makahanap. Yeah. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, nagpahinga na ako, <laughs> nag-break na ako. <laughs> Titingin na doon, med- medyo, may, medyo may intriga doon. That's not by design, but we're, we're out of time. I will continue my conversation here with Gretchen Ho, but for everybody, unfortunately, we're, we're out of time. We will have to... Uh, sign off at this point. Catch us again next Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Uh, Manila time here on One News. If you don't catch us there, you may also check out The Long Conversation on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and tingnan nyo rin po sa Puma Podcast. We're also uploading this as a podcast in Puma Podcast. That's my group as Gretchen. Teka lang, hindi ba to the big story? Hmm? Kala ko the big story to. <laughs> uh, hindi, to? Ibang, ibang schedule. Ay, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. Pero ako po si Robby Alapay. Like I said, ako tutuloy ko itong kwento ako with, with Gretchen. So join us again um, next Thursday or join us online. Can this I have is... you on my talk show in the future? Of course. I got that on record. Ah, uh, well, uh, uh, ganon. Manifest. <laughs> claim it. Wala pa pong talk show yan. Pero ginagis na ako. But uh, it will happen. Ako po si Robbie Alampay. This is Roundtable. Thanks for joining us.